dowel rod uses these holes here. And this will hold your smaller gear. It has four slots. One, two, three, and four. And it'll be using washers like this. And then in the middle, there'll be a gear. Just slide it through the holes. Add your gear first. It'll go on the third slot in. Glue first. And just slide it onto the notch. Now that the gear is positioned, you need to add the washers and crank. And basically like before, you need to add glue to the slots. First a washer. All right, next is the crank. It's got two holes, one to fit on the main shaft. The other hole is for the smallest dowel, which will create a crank for you. Add a little glue and place it into the second hole. Like so. And now it's a crank. Makes it a little easier to turn your animation. And on the back of the, the uh, on the back of the dowel, you'll need to add one more washer to secure it to the hat. Like before, you need to use glue and place it in the slot. And as you can see, it works. You may need to adjust a little bit to get it to turn. But it should look like this after you're done. Now you can see that there's not an animation, and we need to do that next. Alright. Need a strip of paper just like this one here and just draw out a stop motion animation
Okay, here's my animation. Yours can look like whatever, but this is just an example. All right, now you need to place the animation into the hat. Leave it as a strip first, and you need to feed it underneath the main dowel around the large gear. And after it's in there, you'll need to tape it together as a ring. Using a little scotch tape. Like so. And you also need to tape it to the large gear so it stays in place. And this should be your end product here.